please dump him with whatever confusion he's bringing. She will not hear when he say make that dump me. You are here, your pastor, they shade me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Use words and they only have meaning to the degree to which meaning is associated with it. Are we together? Praise the Lord. Now, let's take this implication further. In the same regard, we are all aware that Lucifer means light bringer. Hello? We are not confused. But currently, in view of the way the church has used that word Lucifer over time, there is a meaning that has been attributed and associated and had bound to that word. Reverend Daniel Ogidi. If a lie persists for 20 years, when the truth comes out, what should you do? Should you not be correcting the church if the church has been in error? Why are you saying the church has bound a lie? Is that what Christ instructed? I'm glad you can now agree that Lucifer is the light bringer. You said it with your own mouth. That's the meaning. So why are you attributing the name light bringer to Satan who, according to the scriptures, disguises as an angel of light? Why is your light bringer the prince of darkness? In John chapter 1 verse 4, the Greek term phoston anthropon was used to describe Christ, the light of all man. So you know that the light bringer is Lucifer. Why is Satan your own light bringer? Because the church has sold this lie for hundreds of years? Why don't you read John chapter 8 verse 32? You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Or John chapter 16 verse 13. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. And it will lead you to all truth. I can tell you there's Holy Spirit lacking in your delivery because of the rejection of the truth. How can you be following the Holy Spirit that's supposed to lead you to all truth and then you are rejecting the truth for a convenient lie sold to you in error by a church that is in error? John chapter 4 and verse 23. God is looking for those who worship him in spirit and in truth. Why are you pushing this lie? Let me tell you why. It's called belief perseverance for the furtherance of ignorance. Why base your doctrines on ignorance when Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 warns us that my people perish for lack of knowledge? Revelation chapter 22 verse 15 says, Outside the city gates, sexually immoral, the murderers, the sorcerers, and everybody who loves and practices falsehood. Why are you propagating the practice of falsehood as a Christian doctrine? I come in peace. I greet you.